Uh, seeing as that we've got Mr. Kavanagh for uh, a couple more moments, I think it's only fair that we uh, we talk about Connor and where he's currently at. Obviously, we were all on Fight Island and we saw uh, the fight with uh, with Dustin. How is he at the moment? I know that you've uh, you, you will have been in some type of contact with him. How is uh, the notorious? Yeah, he's in great spirits. Um, actually, just sold the spirits, so he's even <laughs> in really good financial spirits. <laughs> he's even well. better spirits now. Even better spirits. <laughs> um, no, he's just looking forward to. It. I'm, I'm hoping we can get that rematch done in the summer. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. I don't involve myself in the the management side of things, but um, you know, we want to get that one back. We've got to figure out these these freaking calf kicks. Uh, <laughs> how to use them and defend them, but uh, we're pretty confident we have that sorted out now and then. I think he's he looked excellent everywhere else. So give us a rematch, and and uh, we 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 have this. We have it. We have the rematch. I feel. What's um? I mean, going into this, John, there was a lot of talk about boxing and various things that Connor uh, was working on uh, in the gym, as we saw on the on the, on the night. I mean, his boxing was absolutely sensational through uh, through five minutes. But this is a game of inches, isn't it? Mixed martial arts and. Uh, Dustin Poirier's game plan on the night just got the job uh, done over Connor. Yeah, I also describe a game of spinning plates that you're you're spinning the the boxing plate and you realize the wrestling plate's about to stop, so you got to go and spin that one. Then you got to spin the jiu-jitsu one. You got to spin the the kickboxing one. And um, we got a little bit obsessed with the with the boxing plate, and you know there was talk of a big boxing fight after that, and um, er, er bad, er mistake, er fault. No, no one to blame, and we just got to make sure that we we keep spinning that kickboxing blade and and all the other aspects of MMA and get ready for the rematch. John, this is a it might sound like a weird question, but it's a serious question. Do you think? Yeah, <laughs> here's another one. Do you think fighting behind closed doors in the apex or on Fight Island without 20,000, 40,000 fans invading a city, without open workouts, without open media days, without hundreds of thousands of media interview requests, that whole bubble that kind of generates as the biggest star we've ever had in mixed martial arts, do you think taking that away hampers his arsenal in some way? Because we've seen it before in fights, Jose Aldo, Eddie Alvarez... Um, many others where it feels like Connor's w- won up or even won the fight before the first bell even goes because he creates this incri- in te- incredible bubble around himself that fighters become overall. Whereas now, behind closed doors, we've taken that away from Connor, something that he's worked damn hard to build. Um, it definitely has an effect. Would it have enough of an effect to have changed that fight? I don't think so. Um, fair play to uh, Dustin and Mike and the guys they had. Even when he was getting clocked, he got hit a couple of times hard, and then but he still he didn't start getting into a trading war or try and gas himself out trying for takedowns. He he had this plan that he had the check hook and he had the the calf kick, and they were just going to keep doing it and hope it would work, and it did. And I don't think any amount of pre-fight shenanigans would have changed that, or any interview requests, or any screaming fans. So we have to fix that technical detail, which I don't. It's not a, it's not like having to fix everything. It's fixing a small enough area, get that back into the whole game, realize, you know, not going in with sort of a boxing mentality, going in with an MMA, MMA mentality. Connor was always famous for his movement, his ability to change stances, his bounce, as he would say. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got to bring all that back. And it's there. It's under the hood. It's not skills have to be learned, even relearned. They just have to be reignited. And we've already started that process. So let's say, wouldn't it be great to do it again in the summer, maybe in Vegas in front of... 20,000 screaming people and we can get this um, get the world back open again 80,000 let's do it at the Allegiance man come on let's go big let's go big (laughs) go big or go home (laughs) exactly that Um, just a final thing because I I speak about this all the time one of the beautiful things for me about mixed martial arts is how people deal with defeat we saw Israel last night I thought he was absolutely sensational on the microphone made no excuses whatsoever and even though he was but that leg was badly beaten up, we saw Connor obviously hobble into uh, the press conference on Fight Island, and the way that he deals with defeat, you as a, a friend and a coach must be incredibly proud of the way that he goes about that in, in in those humble moments. Proud, but not surprised. That that that's how he always is. Humble in victory, humble in defeat. But it is always nice. I get a huge amount of messages from the mothers out there. It's like, well, I wasn't too. Too uh, happy with my son being a big McGregor fan, but after seeing him, uh, how he held himself in, in defeat, it's a great lesson for, for everybody. So 
always nice to get a few mammies sending me nice messages. <laughs> <laughs> you know full well that we are going to take that as an out of context clip oh, and God. send it round the internet. <laughs> yeah. You're done now, John. You're done. You're done. <laughs> I walked Listen, into that thank one. you so. You yep. did. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for giving up a bit of your time uh, today to come and join us um, on our uh, on our review show for UFC 259. It's been an absolute pleasure, and it's been great to get your insight as well. Oh, we always learn something when you're here. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks, lads. Really appreciate that.